It's the Eagles and the Vikings, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. It's one of the NFL's newest venues, but it's already earned a reputation as one of its best. This is U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to, because I know you have quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple of QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today, because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, Maybe six points, too. One final month to push for the playoffs or start preparing for the future. Here we go. It's week 14. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Well, here come the Vikings, taking the field for their first drive of the game. And they're brought out by the 10th pick of the 2024 draft, a national champion at Michigan, J.J. McCarthy. And he wonders, he's about to take his first snap today. Yeah, he took care of the football last week, Kate. That was great, no interceptions. But just the one touchdown. I'd be curious if he cranks up that aggressive knob today. Play action on first down. He's taking a shot on his first play. Well, they took their shot immediately. It would have been cool if they connected, but no luck. Second down. It's now second down, Jim. Now it's McCarthy. Dumps it off to his running back. And he'll get it off to the 27. Teammates notice when they got a guy willing to take it on the chin to get rid of the pass. That's a pass that's going to earn a lot of points with the other 10 players, not just today, but when they go back and watch that play on tape. Looking for a target. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings a fourth down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate, on shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their rookie starter out of Michigan State University. Just an all-around great performance from him last week, Kate, in the win. Those two touchdowns he had played a big part in the victory, no question. But so did keeping it clean, not throwing a pick. You want to become friendly with your own defense? Make sure they don't have any extra possessions to defend. He did his job, and so did his teammates. And he just gets rid of it. New had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. Gets this one to Harrison. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. So now here's third and five. Looking for a throw here. Setting up the running back screen. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he's out of bounds after getting this to the opposing 45. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. This dude's just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They are throwing it again. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. He'll throw it yet again. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one.
Still sticking with the passing game. Falls to the ground, now left, incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. So now they have third and short. Back to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Intercepted in the end zone! Well, that's it right there. Shots taken in the end zone. Instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Vikings and Justin Jefferson ready to go to work again offensively. And as we draw closer to that final week of the season, he's drawing closer to finishing the campaign as the NFL's leader in receptions. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Running right, this is Jones. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. Holding offense. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. McCarthy looking to throw. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. I'm sorry, kid. I'm trying to remember a time that we saw a lead change on a safety. It's been a while. And that effort defensively nearly got it done so close to the goal line with that sack. The give here on second. And they'll wrap him up for a minimal gain to about the seven. A three-yard gain for him, and that certainly will not be enough. It's still third and a mile. Now McCarthy. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. And he'll make the fair catch. Didn't make it to the 50. This one just short of midfield. We don't get a return out of that punt. And the Eagles will start their drive in optimal field position. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on the first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's a Philadelphia first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Here's a throw. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles go up 6-0 here in the first. So our first score of the game here as they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. Here's a return from the seven. And this drive will start inside the 25. They're out and set for 
first and ten. Looking to throw, McCarthy. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's up to the 35 yard line as they reel him in. They'll come up first and 10. McCarthy to throw it. That's into the hands of Moore. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. At the 37 yard line. From the 37. Forced out to his right. Now he takes it. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. No gain there, and that'll bring up fourth and a few. Minnesota lined up in punt formation. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he's had a very busy game already, Brock. Third time they've called on him as he gets this away. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. We're a quarter of the way through on this chilly winter afternoon. Neither side separating much so far. More from U.S. Bank Stadium after the break. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They'll take over here following that punt to end the first. They go play action. or even help sell that fake. And then when he releases, he gets out, he gets some leverage. He gets to that edge before the defender can cover him. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure Coach Play Caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. And he's tackled for a short game. Quarterbacks will look for their tight ends short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. We've got a fumble pretty close to midfield. No turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. Throwing it again here. That's complete. Here's Brown. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Option give here. Oh, what a stiff arm. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. To the air now on first and ten. Looking right, and he brings it in. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 24. Cut near the goal line. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. Well, the pressure really got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Throw it again. And he scores. It's a fill it 
Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles take a 13-point lead. Well, we've certainly gotten used to calling his touchdowns all season, haven't we? There have been a lot of them, Brock. And that last one makes it official. Pop that cork, baby. The receiving record for touchdowns in a season. And the level of opposition he's overcome, especially as he neared this record, the whole world watching every team doing all they can, committing extra resources to stop him. Well, they can't do it. And all he did was score, 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 score. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is set away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now the Minnesota offense trotting out. They haven't been able to get that offense going just yet, Brock. The deficit at 14. Back to throw. Here's McCarthy. He'll get this to Jefferson. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Here's McCarthy to throw. That's Jefferson. He's got it. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Ooh, after that play, we can tell he's hurting. He's someone they need to help their playoff hopes. Training staff working on him now. Second and three now. Off the play fake, he's gonna throw. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Now a give up the middle to Jones. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. If only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense forcing a fourth down. The Vikings getting their punt team out. And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Brock, as he gets away another one. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. The Eagles headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And it's been such an incredible season for him. As we play our final month of football, he's leading the NFL in passing yards. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. He creates space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 31. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. It's a pickup of 11. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Pass play now. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Trying to find A.J. Brown. And now they face second down. They are throwing it again. Here's a throw on the out route. Complete. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. All plays on the table here for third and three. Dropping back to throw. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this one does not go far. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online. You feel good about it. It's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. Here's someone from a family of punters, Ryan Stonehouse, on the punt on four. Only needed once last week in the win, and he matches that total here. And that's well into the end zone, so a missed chance to stick them near the goal line. Instead, they're going to have the ball at the 20. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Now it's McCarthy. 
into the hands of Jefferson, complete. And he'll get it up to the 27. Now after that play, we've got somebody shaken up, and you don't want to see serious injury in the midst of their playoff push. He's being looked at here. Second and three now. From the 27. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. McCarthy looking to throw. Able to get it to Moore. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now the Vikings use their third and final timeout. He'll throw it yet again. Able to find Hawkinson. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. From just shy of midfield on second down. That one is incomplete. The clock now down to 16 seconds remaining. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. They got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. He's back to throw. Open receiver, caught. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Time out taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. So here comes the kick team for what will be a very long attempt. You better get all of this one. It's got a ways to go. Distance is good, but not the accuracy. He just missed it left. So as we reach halftime, we see the visiting Eagles taking a lead into the break. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit. And it's the Cowboys who are out in front. Dak Prescott lighting it up. He's got three touchdown passes. From there, we head down south to Tampa to check on the Bucks at home at Raymond James Stadium. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Drake London, up over 100 yards receiving with two touchdown grabs. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis to check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they've gone to the half, all even at 14 apiece. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. have it teed up, and play resumes with the kick. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Eagles are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And no one has been better than him at finding the end zone through the air all year. He's leading this league and passing touchdowns late in our season. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Throwing from the gun here. Here's one left side. He's got it. Complete pass. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles grow the lead coming out of halftime. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. Hey, 
That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles. And this one is sent away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Vikings and Aaron Jones headed back out there on offense. And his performance has ailed against what has been a very stout defensive front. This hasn't been a contest to stack up their among his better showings partner. They've made it real difficult to find any holes to hit, and there's been absolutely no space for him to work with. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he won't win the race to the outside. That run's bottled up at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Now McCarthy. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And that pushes him back, third down, coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, a defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that, creating third and extra longs, it's exactly how you get it done. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. McCarthy to throw it. That's into the hands of Moore. And that will not be enough for a first down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Fair catch calling for, and he's got it right near the 30-yard line. No return on that punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. They're out and set. First and ten. Airing it out to start this drive. Hits his man on the out route. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. From the 37. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates now as a receiver in the open field. Ooh, after that play, we can tell he's hurting. He's someone they need to help their playoff hopes. Training staff working on him now. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Throwing it again here. He goes back to him yet again. Complete! And he'll get this through the midfield stripe and starts pushing into Vikings territory. And the Vikings add an extra defensive back for this third down. Pass play coming here. Complete beyond the marker. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Still sticking with the passing game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 29, into traffic, complete! And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. 
That one goes for 17 yards and moves the chains. Well, we have seen the value of a big physical tight end just like that. Those post routes downfield so hard to defend. The great tight ends, the physical tight ends, it's almost as if they're posting up on the low block in basketball and you can't get around them. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you... And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles piling onto the scoreboard yet again. Well, Brock, not much to say other than the fact that this offense on point, they are just clicking today. Just rolling. I mean, this, this is clinic. This is what I call teaching tape being well prepared, and more importantly, going out there and executing at a high level. Jake Elliott, Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That the one splits the good. uprights, the and they'll continue adding to their lead. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The Vikings taking the field on offense. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. Back now, pressure on its way. He puts some power on a deep one left. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Bails out of the pocket quick. Gets out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. They're going to think this over before trying third and one. They take a timeout. They're going play action. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Got it at the 16. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Eagles about set to go on offense. And you can see in these clips quite an extensive highlight reel he's put together in what is a four-touchdown game for him already. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this guy's in the zone. I know in hoops, sometimes shooters say that hoop looks and that basket looks enormous. Right, I know on a golf course, you're thinking, man, everything is a birdie. For this guy today, four touchdowns on the ledger. He's made it look easy. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Buys time, rolling right. Ah, nice work here, sliding down after some excellent running and a nice gain. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that, actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Throwing now from the gun. Tight end has it across the middle. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, they'll run. Broke through the tackle. And he'll get this down to the 23-yard line before they stop him. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Thankfully, only one quarter to play now. We've reached the end of three in this lopsided affair. It's Eagles ball, and this one looks like it may already be out of reach. Oh 
Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 23. Got him in over the middle. Complete. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. That's a pickup of nine. And that's good for an Eagles first down. First down, Eagles. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And this is down all the way to the three. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. Goal to go. They're passing. Here's pressure, and he's dropped by the Vikings. And that sack going to cost them some yardage. This is one of those situations where QB strength and ability to run can be a great blessing, but can also be a curse. We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. It's second and goal. He brings it in. This really isn't a wrap design for a lot of yards, Kate. You're just trying to get a small handful and move on to the next down. Stay in rhythm. And anytime you can work some magic after the catch and stretch it out, those are welcome bonus yards. This might be a free play for him. And he's across for the touchdown. And that flag is not going to stop this celebration. They know that's an offsides call. Offside. Defense. Got to the end zone with a free play, so they will, of course, decline off sides and take the points. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Vikings, nothing. The kick team out there for the Eagles, and this one is sent away. This return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And it's still largely a rough outline, Brock. Not a finalized picture just yet, but our playoffs are starting to take shape. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now it's McCarthy. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And he'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. Staying on the ground with Jones. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. They'll send out the punting unit. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. Fielded at the 30. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and 10.
got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he'll get it up to the 44. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. He breaks a tackle. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Back to the well again. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few. Got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. So that brings us to the two-minute warning in Philly. Eagles moments away from win number 12. Back to back carries here. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Only two yards on the run, and they're left with third and 11. He's dropping back to throw. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. Impressive play, but they are well shy of the first down. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a Philadelphia first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. First down, ball at the 36. From the gun, Shipley gets it. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. A game of four. It's now second and six at the 32-yard line. So the Eagles will fly out of here with a road win. And this streak will live to see another week as they take down yet another opponent over Bronco. It has been an incredible stretch of games for them. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.